Hey there my friend, I'm glad you stopped by. Today, I want to talk about something that might seem a bit counterintuitive at first. You see, we live in a world where success is often measured by wealth, fame, and material possessions. But I'm here to tell you that being considered a loser isn't always a negative thing. In fact, it can be quite empowering if you have the right perspective. Now, bear with me as I delve into this topic. And perhaps by the end, you'll see things from a different angle. You know, there was this wise man named Epictetus, who once said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. He was onto something there, don't you think? It's all too common for people to chase after external goods, only to find that they're never truly satisfied. They keep wanting more and more, like a dog chasing its tail. But Epictetus encouraged people to prioritize inner qualities, such as contentment, joy, and tranquility. You see, these are the things that truly contribute to our well-being. And the beautiful part is that they're not dependent on the whims of ever-changing societal expectations. In fact, they're entirely within our control. Let me share a fascinating anecdote with you that perfectly illustrates the point I'm trying to make. I once met a man named John, who seemingly had everything society told him he should want. He was the epitome of what most people would call a winner. He had a high-paying job as an executive at a prestigious company, a luxurious car that turned heads wherever he went, and a big, beautiful house in an upscale neighborhood. But despite all these trappings of success, John was miserable. He felt trapped in a never-ending cycle of working long hours, trying to impress his bosses and colleagues, and constantly striving for more. He had no time for the things that truly brought him joy, spending time with his family, exploring the great outdoors, and pursuing his passion for painting. One day, after a particularly grueling week at work, John decided he'd had enough. He realized that the life he was living wasn't making him happy, and he needed a drastic change. So he did something that most people would consider crazy. He quit his job, sold his fancy car and his big house, and said goodbye to the life he had built. John moved to a small, rustic cabin in the woods, far away from the hustle and bustle of the city. It wasn't luxurious by any means, it had no fancy amenities, and he had to chop wood and fetch water from a nearby stream. But for the first time in years, he felt truly alive and content. Most people would have called John a loser for giving up his high-paying job, luxurious lifestyle, and social status. But in doing so, he finally found the peace and happiness he'd been searching for all along. He traded the constant stress and pressure of his old life for a simpler existence, one that allowed him to focus on what truly mattered, his relationships, his passions, and his own well-being. In his new life, John discovered the beauty of living in harmony with nature, and he became an avid gardener and wildlife enthusiast. He reconnected with his family, making up for the lost time and creating new, cherished memories. And he rediscovered his love for painting, filling his cabin with vibrant, colorful works of art that captured the essence of his newfound joy and tranquility. John's story is a powerful reminder that success, as defined by society, isn't always the key to happiness. Sometimes, it's the willingness to let go of what others expect from us and embrace a different path that leads us to true contentment. In John's case, being considered a loser by societal standards ultimately led him to a life that was far more fulfilling, meaningful, and rich in the things that truly matter. You see, choosing the path of a philosopher, or someone who values inner qualities above all else, means rejecting society's conventional values. Sure, it might come at the cost of being ridiculed or seen as a loser by others, but that's a small price to pay for the freedom to live life on your own terms. Now, I'm not saying you should abandon all your worldly possessions and live like a hermit, but what if, instead of chasing external markers of success, you focused on cultivating inner qualities? Imagine the energy you'd save by not conforming to others' rules and expectations, you'd have so much more to devote to what truly matters for your well-being. Of course, embracing this mindset isn't easy. It takes wisdom and strength to prioritize your own happiness over society's expectations. But those who do often find that being considered a loser is actually beneficial. They're able to evaluate what's genuinely important to them and pursue a life that aligns with their values, rather than seeking validation through external achievements. Now, you might be wondering, but what about those who achieve great success by society's standards? Are they not happy? Well, it's true that some people find happiness in the conventional sense of success, 
But that doesn't mean their path is the only one worth following. Remember, the concept of being a loser is a subjective notion based on societal norms and expectations. And those norms and expectations change over time. So if we adopt a stoic philosophy and prioritize inner qualities, we can redefine the meaning of success. It's no longer about wealth, fame, or material possessions, but rather about personal growth, inner peace, and genuine happiness. In this context, being labeled a loser can become an empowering and liberating experience. It allows you to live life on your own terms, without being shackled by the need for external validation. It gives you the freedom to focus on what truly matters to you, whether that's spending time with loved ones, exploring your passions, or simply enjoying the present moment. And most importantly, it allows you to cultivate a sense of genuine happiness and well-being that comes from within, rather than being dictated by society's ever-changing expectations. There's a certain beauty in recognizing that you don't have to conform to the world's idea of success. It's like discovering a hidden treasure, a secret that sets you free from the shackles of societal expectations. When you realize that success is subjective, you gain the power to redefine it according to your own values and beliefs. This allows you to choose a path that leads to a more fulfilling and meaningful life, one that is tailored to your individual passions, desires, and aspirations. This unique path you choose to walk may be different from those around you, and that's perfectly fine. It's a path that acknowledges your individuality and encourages you to embrace the things that truly matter to you. By pursuing this journey, you're not only staying true to yourself, but you're also setting an example for others to follow. You're showing them that there's more to life than simply chasing after conventional markers of success. Of course, there will always be those who might see you as a loser for making that choice. They might judge you for not adhering to the traditional definition of success or for not accumulating the external trappings that society deems valuable. But remember, that's their problem, not yours. Their judgment is a reflection of their own limited perspective, and it doesn't define your worth or the value of your choices. Instead of letting their opinions weigh you down, use them as fuel to propel you forward on your chosen path. Allow their skepticism to strengthen your resolve and deepen your commitment to living a life that is authentic and true to yourself. As you continue to pursue your own version of success, you'll find that those who once judged you may start to admire your courage and dedication. It's important to note that pursuing a different path doesn't mean you're completely rejecting the world around you. It simply means you're choosing to prioritize what's truly important to you, rather than blindly following the status quo. By doing so, you're not only nurturing your own personal growth and happiness, but you're also contributing to the world in a meaningful way. Your unique journey might inspire others to question their own beliefs and redefine success for themselves, leading to a more diverse and fulfilling society. Now, I know it's not easy to go against the grain, especially when everyone around you seems to be following a certain script. But remember, you have the power to write your own story. You can choose to prioritize inner qualities and focus on personal growth, even if it means going against societal norms. Take a moment to think about the people you admire most. Are they all wealthy, famous, or successful by society's standards? Or are they individuals who have found happiness, contentment, and a sense of purpose in their own unique ways? Chances are, it's the latter. And that's because true success comes from within, not from the external trappings that society tells us we should desire. So my friend, I encourage you to embrace the idea of being a loser in the eyes of society. Wear it as a badge of honor, a sign that you're strong enough to defy expectations and live life on your own terms. As the great philosopher Seneca once said, it is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. In conclusion, don't be afraid to challenge society's definition of success. By prioritizing inner qualities and focusing on personal growth, you can redefine what it means to be a winner or a loser. In doing so, you'll discover that being considered a loser by others is not always a negative aspect. In fact, it can be a source of strength, freedom, and genuine happiness. So go forth, my friend, and embrace the wisdom of the Stoics.